A minute for me to say I'm glad you're my dad And especially today I want to tell you I'm grateful For all you do I'm glad you're my dad And I love you I know that you show How much you love me in a thousand ways I know you help me grow A little more each day I want to tell you I'm grateful for all you do I'm glad you're my dad and I love you I want to tell you I'm grateful for all you do Good morning! I'm glad Hi! You're my dad Is anybody out there? Hey, today is a really special day! Does anybody know what today is? Yell at me! Tell me! It's Father's Day! We're so glad you're here! Welcome! I'm Sister Deb and it's Squirmy Miss Tiki! Say hi! Okay! <laughs> yeah, she didn't last hardly at all today, did she? Today is such a cool day! We get to honor some very important people! You know who they are? Your daddy! That's right! Well, you know, do you remember when I did Mother's Day? I had a whole stack of things that I wanted to remember. The same thing. I have those, what we call senior moments. I forget things, so I had to write them down, so forgive me. Well, first of all, I want to start by honoring our Heavenly Daddy. We have a Heavenly Daddy, and we have an Earthly Daddy, and we'll talk more about that. But you know, every Sunday, we have been doing praise and worship. Well, today I want you to stand up, get ready to worship, but we want to do a little something different. We want to sing and dance and wave our hands and glorify and worship Jesus, but we also want to wish him a happy Daddy's Day, because he's our heavenly Daddy. Are you ready? Stand up, everybody. Are you ready? Worship.
All right. Did you enjoy that? I love that because our Heavenly Father is a good, good Father. And I'm just so thankful for Him. Well, you know, our dads are a very important part of God's plan. You know, He created your dad to be the leader of your household. Isn't that cool? Well, there are some people to start off that I kind of want to honor. First of all, and always, I want to honor my Heavenly Father. But I have an amazing earthly daddy. And here I even have a picture of me and my dad. Isn't that cool? I was just a little girl. That was like a long time ago. I also want to honor my grandfather. He helped raise me. And he's the one that in God's plan, he pointed me towards Jesus pointed me to have Jesus as my best friend. Do you remember us talking about that? Well, that's what my grandfather was for me, okay? Well, I also would like to honor my husband. And I have some really cool pictures of him too with our kiddos. My husband is an amazing daddy. He loves his kiddos so much those cool pictures? Well, not only do I want to honor my husband, but you know, the cool thing about being a Christian is we have an extended family. Do you have an extended family at church? Do you know who I'm talking about? Well, I know that you have a daddy and you have grandpas and you have uncles, but do you know that there are people at church, men at church that love you? And I want to take the time to honor two of those men right now. I would like to honor Pastor Joe. And I have some cool pictures of him too. He is a grandpa of three kiddos. He's a daddy to three amazing kids. And he's also like a second dad to my son. Isn't that neat? I love that so much. I'd also like to honor one other young man. We'll say young man. <laughs> He's like my little brother. It's Pastor Ricardo. And he has two adorable girls. You see those pictures? Aren't those cool? Well, you know Pastor Joe, he led my boy towards Jesus. Isn't that cool? And that's what a lot of the men at church, they're there for you too. To point you towards Jesus and to help you. But just like my husband Jim, he leads and points people to Jesus. He's so cool. Okay, well, let's talk about your earthly daddy. Okay, and let me see here. I am just getting ahead of myself, okay? Now, you, this might be a little hard for you to understand, but you do have two daddies. You have your heavenly daddy and your earthly daddy. And you know, do you remember when we talked about Mother's Day? God made such a big heart and he put all these extra hugs and kisses and comfort and all that good stuff when he created your mama. Well, he had a special design and special plan for your dad, too. You know, he created your dad to be strong and to take care of you and to protect you and to make you feel safe. Um, let's think about some of the things that your dad does. Do. He provides for you, right? He may have been the one that helped you learn to ride a bike. And he's going to be there when it's time for you to learn how to drive. Now that might be a little while yet, but hold on, your time's coming. Do you know another thing is if there's like a spider in your bedroom, who do we call? Dad! Sometimes in this house they call me, 
I don't mind the spiders. But most of the time when they're really big, I call for my husband, I call for their daddy. But he is there for you. He is one that will listen. And my daddy's like that. I go to my heavenly father and I pray. And you should too when you have a problem. But you know, it's nice to have somebody that you can go to right here that's in your family. And you know, I still go to my dad. I'm almost 60. Don't tell anybody. What? I'm almost 60. And I still go to my daddy and ask for his advice. And I ask him to pray for me. Isn't that cool? And you can do the same. So I just want to honor, just to honor your dad's. Okay, well, let's think about some of the things that we can do. I made a list let's see, of things that we could possibly do. Oh, do you remember the coupon book that we talked about that we were going to make maybe for your mom? You can do the same for your dad. Like, I will take out the trash. I will clean up the yard. I will help you when you go and you maybe you're working on the car because you know one of the things that says in the Bible okay and I'm going to put this on our Facebook page can you yell out what's our Facebook page WCC kids that's right so I'm going to put this scripture and several others and dads if you would like to look on our web page or our Facebook page I'm going to put scripture that pertains to you and it's in Proverbs. And God did give us guidelines in a manual of how to live our life and be the best parents that we can be. So I will post them on WCC Kids. But the one that I want to talk about, and we talked about it during Mother's Day, was in Exodus 20, chapter 20, verse 12. And kiddos, it gave us right here in God's word to honor our fathers and our mothers. And you may say, what does that mean? Well, you know, you can start by listening to them and doing what they say. And it's usually what's best for you. So I thought I had visitors. Isn't that cool? But I don't. <laughs> but you look at that. You look at Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. But again, I'll put those on our Facebook page. So be thinking about what you can do for your, your earthly daddy today. Just to make him feel loved and make him feel special. Okay? Cool. Well, let's talk a little bit about your heavenly father. Your heavenly daddy. I just want you to know how much he loves you. And if you don't know, if you don't know him as your best friend, oh, I would just love for you to get to know him. And there's a way for you just to pray and invite him into your heart and ask Jesus to be your best friend. Well, I think that's about all the time that we have today. But again, I want you to know just your heavenly daddy loves you so much. He loved you so much that he laid down his life for you. And he is always there for you. He always cares about you, the small things and the big things. Well, I want you to remember that you're forever cared for by Jesus and you're forever loved. Will you pray for me? Let me just honor your daddy and let's honor our Heavenly Daddy today, too. All right? Oh, dear Jesus, Lord, we just love you and we thank you so much. Father, Daddy, Happy Father's Day. Jesus, we just love you. Lord, I just thank you for everything that you've done in our lives. And Father, I ask that you would give a special blessing to our earthly daddies. Lord, we just love our dads so much. And Lord, I also want to honor the men that have stepped up to be part of our lives 
and a help to guide us to you, Father God. Again, we just honor them and we thank them. And Lord, I just thank you for my husband and what a great daddy he is. Jesus, bless us this week. Bless our families. And again, just bless our dads today. Let them know how much we love them. Jesus, thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you're going to do. We ask this all in your sweet and wonderful name. Amen. Do me a favor. Are you ready? Can you do this for me? Give your dad a big hug. Tell him how much you love him. And tell him thank you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Don't forget, next week on the 28th, we're going to have Children's Church. Yay! I hope that you can be with me. Again, I love you. God loves you.